was Father's Day morning when a local resident made a horrific discovery on her newly cut front lawn, a pet cat that had been mutilated and left for dead. It is one of multiple cases that have been reported in recent days in Kelowna. Castanet has received photos of the cat that we are choosing not to show because of their gruesome nature, but viewers should be aware this interview contains content some may find disturbing. At first I, it, I just saw a black thing with like, it looked like skin attached to it and I thought maybe it was a crow because it was black and then when I got closer I saw that it was a cat head and it was basically the head, um, the body seemed to be skinned and then one of the back legs was attached. I'm an animal person, I, I love animals so you know I, I hate seeing something like that, especially a domestic one that somebody cared for, I like that. After she called the police, officers came around and did a thorough inspection of the property as well as the surrounding area, noting that the puncture wounds on the cat could suggest it was attacked by an animal. BC SPCA's Regional Manager for Cruelty Investigations says that although predatory animals are active at the moment, it still remains a disturbing discovery. We have one carcass that we're preparing to send away uh, to determine how it was uh, killed, whether by predator or by human. It is this time of year where we have uh, coyotes giving pups, so they're out there hunting to feed their little ones. We do have raccoons, we do have eagles, and other predators where smaller animals can fall prey to. We ask and recommend that the public be aware of this and to ensure they know where their smaller animals are and at night time keep them safe by keeping them inside. There is no expected timeline on the necropsy, but the BC SPCA has said that it will release the cause of death if and when it is able to determine it. For Carstate News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.